So I am really excited today because we are gonna do a honey bee cake. I've always wanted to try one of these, so I'm really, really excited to do it with you. And we are gonna start with this lovely chocolate cake that I made full of ganache. So let's get started. All right, so here is our delicious buttercream frosting, which I'm only using to change the color of the cake from dark chocolate to white because I'm using a light colored fondant and I don't want the dark chocolate to show through. I'm going to use a nice light yellow fondant. I'm going to put this in the fridge to get it nice and hard and then when I'm ready with my fondant I'm going to bring it out and give it one thin coat of fresh frosting that way it's still fresh and sticky so the fondant will stick to it. We just put on our final coat of buttercream and this is my secret one.
Now we've melted our chocolate and we put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, multiple times during in between. You can double boil chocolate. That is the safer route to take, but microwave is faster and I microwaved it. So anyway, we have our chocolate, but it's white. So we're gonna add a little bit of food coloring. Now, the best thing would be to use oil-based food coloring. You're always supposed to use oil-based when it comes to chocolate because if you put in anything with a water base, it will seize up. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything that's oil-based, and so I tested this, and it still worked, so we're good to go. But ideally, you should always buy oil-based. Now we have our bubble wrap, which is how we're gonna make the honeycomb print. Now, I put a line down it because I measured the height of the cake, so I know how high to pour the chocolate but I wanted to leave some extra because I wanted it to come up a little higher than the top of the cake. So, and this is for some extra cones so we can decorate with it. So here we go. Pour it on down. Start with that. There you go. So you'll want to let this sit for 15 to 45 minutes as long as it takes to cool, not to totally harden. You just want it to not be sticky to the touch. And then you should be able to wrap it around your cake. And that's what we'll do next. So the first time I poured this, I waited a little too long. And so it was too hard for me to wrap the cake in. It kind of crumbled a bit. We did get two very nice pieces of honeycomb. But the rest I was able to remelt. And we're gonna try this. excited about how this turned out. Here is our cake with covered in the honeycomb chocolate. Now it's not done yet because we have our fondant bees, which I'm really excited about. But as you can see, it wasn't perfectly around. I wasn't able to get it perfectly around the cake because of the different temperatures of the different parts of the honeycomb, but that's okay. And that's the beauty of this project because it doesn't have to be perfect. It looks more natural and more like real honeycomb when it's imperfect. So. Uh, and on the top, and I was able to cover that hole that I dug through the top. I blended it in with these beautiful chunks of honeycomb. And I, the glue that I used was just more melted chocolate, which worked perfectly. So let's add the bees. Here's our bees. Super cute. I'm so excited. All right, so here we got our last few pieces. We've got our cake with the honeycomb. We've got our beautiful little fondant honey bees. And we've got the last remaining bits of chocolate, which are still warm, and they will be the glue, edible glue, for our bees. So let's get some on. Here we go. Put this guy up here. And you'll probably want to hold on to him just for a minute. Sometimes I will get a little bag of the chocolate and take it with me if this has to leave your house, to leave location. I'll take it in the baggie, that way if any little pieces break off, then I can melt, melt the chocolate back down in the microwave and re-glue it on. So that's kind of my safety net. So there you go. It's a honeycomb cake and I love it. I hope you do too. Thank you for joining us in this video. Thanks for being a part of making this. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. 
So join me in my other videos. We're gonna make a lot more super cool stuff. And I will see you then.